So next in this game of weirdness and mysteries, uh, with the weird sounds that inhabit going across the deep water. But what we have to do next is help this guy over here on the rocks, cause he is hungry. And he wants a tiger mackerel, which I have never seen before. But if we look in our handy encyclopedia, right over here, this looks like the same outline. So we need to go to the Gale Cliffs to catch it. So we're just gonna give this guy all the fish that he wants. And hopefully he doesn't start to feel hungry for fishermen instead of fish. So we're just gonna speed our way over here looking for the right pool of fish this could be it uh nope this is this is different but i'll catch it see what it is it's a blackmouth salmon that's kind of cool similar shape as the cod so we just gotta fit all these in here nicely the tiger fish should be i just got a human called careless fishing what did i do for that depleted a total of 25 fishing spots what do you mean you gotta collect them all right okay these are the size of mackerels so they should be yeah here's a tiger tiger mackerel right there we're just gonna slot that in nicely deplete this fishing spot because the game doesn't like it. We just need one of these and then the rest we can sell to the fishmonger. Oh, I totally wasted a trophy opportunity right there. That's fine. There'll be another one. And there's also a bottle right here. Connect one of you. Also collect the weird fish over here. And there's another red beacon in the sky right there. So where are these ones? Oh, okay. More of the blackwater fish. Is there going to be a weird one right away? No, not quite. We'll just store the fish here until I get the weird one because weird fish are my specialty. Oh, there it is. A decaying black mouth. There's something wrong with you, buddy. So let's see if we can organize a little bit better so we can get one more fish. And we totally can. Very good. Now we just gotta uh, find the fishmonger over here. Just gotta free up some space in my boat by selling fish. Not selling all of them yet. Gotta keep one of you. So we'll put you in storage and then sell the rest for a cool $146. And now the fish can come back out onto the boat. And I guess the merchant wants to talk to us as well. Come by for a chat. Do you need help with anything? Collect records of where each fish species is located. Sure, I can help with that. Or fish, gulp eel goliath tiger fish what and huh? uh, that's not a real word okay so we can find the different fish at different times cool Ooh, and one of the next upgrades we can get is cargo space that's gonna be really good thankfully i have some materials i can put towards that and since i have the room for it i'm gonna buy a better engine to put in this slot over here so now if i do a little whoopsie and my engine breaks it won't be completely dead in the water i love this increased speed but the water is looking really rough today i should be able to handle it well enough though i wonder if eventually my boat can catch some wicked air off of these waves not something you would expect a fishing boat to do well in any case hey buddy i brought you a snack here's your tiger mackerel my good man rip into the flesh drawn out its heart uh-huh almost fulfilled okay only a few more a snake mackerel what in the world okay it's another coastal thing that is just weird looking is that one of the aberrations encyclopedia it doesn't look like it it's an entirely new fish over in devil's spine oh and that's a weird looking aberration there and devil's spine is just north of here so i think we can make that but while we're on the way over there we might as well check out these crab pots because they're exhausted Ooh, lots of crabs i like it and then this one in the bay Ooh. Ooh, a trophy fiddler crab a whole nine inches i have no idea if that's big for a fiddler crab but i like it because it's gold and shiny things now there was one more cage here it is another fiddler crab and i can fit that many sadly we can't get this last one we don't really need it though we also can't grab the pot yet that's fine we'll just return all these to shore and make a good amount of money doing it 119 dollars on only crabs wow so now let's just speed our way over to the islands to the north here it looks like there's another lighthouse over there i should check that out and also maybe collect some of these dredge points over here so i can get the, one of those new upgrades and i'll have to move these crab pots to storage okay well uh accidentally bumped a rock there and the crab pot lost her ability how's that gonna work like that well as long as it's just the crab pot i'm not really uh you know using it but now i can't use that spot either it's fine though just gonna move through here stick to the shallows and we are really close to devil's spine so we don't have too much farther to go and whoa there's some ruins over there. I don't think that means there's a town over there. Yeah, it's not looking good for that. I might just go back to that lady that was living over here. And now the fog is setting in and it's nighttime. Have I mentioned how much I don't like this? Ooh, that's really shallow right there. Okay, just gotta curve around like this. The ambient light from the boat is just enough for me to see where I'm going. I don't feel quite safe enough going out at night. Maybe if my bow could last two hits from the big fish, I'd be okay. But now we'll have all the time in the world to go and hunt a long mackerel over there. I forget the name of it already. I would also like to hopefully see some secrets over here. Maybe we could light that tower over there. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, whoa! Woo -hoo! That's a whale! Hello there! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay! 
Surprise, surprise, I guess. And the air has turned a different color over here. That's bizarre. There's also some, whoa, underwater geysers over here or volcano whatevers. I can dock here. There's a lot of weirdness happening over here. Okay, just got to find a mackerel spot. Ooh, there's a shiny one. What do you have? Whoa, you're a weird one. Okay, I don't know what this uh, wheel is going to do. Oh, I got to match it. Okay. Ooh. An armored sea robin. Weird. And there's all... Oh, this is a trophy. This is a trophy. Trophy, trophy, trophy. Got it. No. One foot nine. But there's also still an aberration here. I want it. Just gotta... There it is. An ossified sea robin. This is nasty looking. I don't even know what ossified means. Body encased in a suit of thick bone. That is nasty, honestly. I'm also seeing some abyssal fish over there. So why don't I just see what this island over here is all about with a weird altar? Can I get some weird fish cold vibes from this. Oh, <laughs> with a weird guy here as well. Hi there. Bracing himself against the wind and spray. Nearby spires blaze with eternal fire. Okay. Three fat... There's some weird sounds in the distance. Retrieve three fathomless flames. Shrines of the deep. Mark them. Uh-huh. Ooh, here I can do storage. Very good. Move all these. And the crab pots as well, because I'm not planning on using those. Thankfully, I can rest the night here, so I can do a little bit more fishing. And I need to find a mackerel spot. I'm guessing we gotta go farther in, despite my, uh judgment just out of curiosity what do you have besides a stingray i can't fish here anyway it's volcanic okay you know what uh it's almost nighttime. i'm just gonna go on back so that other mackerel the guy wanted was coastal i might just be on the wrong side of the island for it anyway we'll explore in the morning and as weird as this place is that is a really pretty sunrise oh look there's another uh floating person over here hi uh no oh, nope i knew it i knew it i knew they're evil look at them they want to bite my boat go away quick dock here dock here dock here Ho oh, ho, you're not getting me today. A charred pontoon. Boy, you really are a traveling merchant. I didn't expect you over here. That's good. That meat when trawling. Yep. So that means I can sell both of these fish for $51 and repair my boat. And there really doesn't seem to be anything I could get that would help me here. Okay, there's more evil fish around there. Give them a wide berth. Oh, but there's some secrets in there. Once I get explosives, blow all of those up and I can get to them. Okay, so these things are in Devil's Spine, which is where I'm at exploring all these points. There's a lot of different X's on there too. Ah, uh, evil fish right there. Okay, time to skedaddle. Put a lot of distance between me and them. Oh, great. There's more evil fish over here. Parkour my way through here with a boat. Yep, I hear you. I don't want to, but I hear you. Thankfully, my speedy boat can outpace them, but I really need that mackerel from here. But anyway, let's just put you into the upgrade, and then we'll put that other scrap into, I guess, a rod space, because I need more room for that. Oh, hold on. Here's the fish. Why is it doing way out here? This barely seems coastal. Anyways, I'm gonna do it. And ha! There's a snake mackerel. A snake? Why is a snake a fish? Why is a fish a snake? So many questions. But I can get all these things, thankfully. I'm hoping that this is the last weird fish that the guy needs. And then hopefully he gives me something good for all my troubles. Now I can zoom away from the volcano and all the weird sounds. And oh man, I didn't realize how close to nighttime it was. I'm gonna go this way. Hello, gonna sell all these except for one. $137. Oh, I could almost get that storage upgrade. And didn't realize I had these materials still. So those can go in there. And then we can also do some research. There's a volcanic rod and mangrove and coastal. I think volcanic is the one that's most pressing. So we'll pour the point into that. And now it's time to give the weird guy his fish. I wonder if he's also a fish. I mean, have you seen the guy's arms? He's kind of blue. Da ba dee da do. All right, guy, I'm grabbing you a whole lot of fish. Almost fulfilled. Uh-huh. Yep. Here you go. Barely left your hands before splinter nails begin peeling at the scales. Uh-huh. And he gave me a book. Now I wait. They cross their arms and... Okay. Uh, cool. Cool story. He gave me a book. I'm guessing this gives me better prices on fish. Or better prices for upgrades. Or both. Okay, I do see a town on those rocks over there. It's also getting really close to nighttime. So, okay, that spot's done. Let's keep going. Oh, I don't like sprinting across the open water, but I kind of have to. At least there's a town over there. I can't even see it. Just going to be bouncing from island to island, I think is the best strategy. And yeah, it's nighttime now. Oh, I don't like that swarm of eyes right there. Just got to get to the shallows. And okay, just uh, wait here. Also, where am I? Oh, I'm right next. To okay, so I just got to hop to the next two islands here. And then there should be a town or something. I'm really curious what that blue lightning flash. I'm curious what this blue light is. Ooh, there's a jellyfish right there. Is that what that is? There's a yeah. uh, boat in the fog. That's cool. But oh, wow, some iridescent looking fish. Oh, dog? There's a dog. Huh. Ooh, 
Now this looks fun. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Wow, a firefly squid, that's cool. And this is probably my favorite uh, reeling mini game. Ooh, a radiant squid. Let me just do some reorganizing real quick. Uh, the swordfish makes it very weird. I'm right next to shore, so I don't feel risk of being attacked. Okay, let's see, if I put you in like that, get you in right there, and then you, and I can, oh, almost get all of them. This is frustrating when he can't fit everything nicely. And I know people get upset when I don't optimize the storage, but sometimes it just doesn't like it. You know, one normal mackerel being wasted isn't too bad of a loss. Think that barking is coming from that little hut right there. Oh, there's another red column over here. Hopefully this... Oh, oh, that's a that's a reef. Don't want to go through that. And I also probably want to avoid that uh, jelly. Do I turn on the light? I might need to. I just... Yep, there's starting to be eyes. Okay. I see some lights. There's a lot of lights, actually. This is cool. I'm not even scared right now. I'm just fascinated. Okay, I see the merchant over there. Wow, we Man, the sea gets really cool at night. Okay, it's a straight shot. If I don't turn on the light, I probably won't see rocks show up. Oh, there's so many things I want to fish here. And I made it. Okay, cool. Fish market. Sell you all $227. Woo, I like it. And that means I have enough to buy more cargo space. Excellent. Look at the size of my boat now. I love it. Sadly though, this place loses all of its nighttime brilliance. I'm definitely going to be fishing here now. There's also this spot over here I could have gone. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold everything. Those are tentacles, aren't they? I don't trust that for a moment. That is Sarlacc Pit if I ever saw one. <laughs> I am not I am not sending my boat across that. Nope, no sir. Just gonna give that a nice wide berth. The last thing I want is to be pulled down into the deep. Oh, this place looks abandoned. What's going on here? Hello, anybody home? A research outpost. There's a generator. Old generator sputters and ticks over. Okay, laboratory, hello? Laboratory in ruins. Uh, equipment on the table. Will you have an upgrade for me? Prototype parts. Can't see any use for them right now. Okay. Hastily scroll note, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Retaliation from what? Check the cupboards. Hey, a research part. And then lastly, around on the floor. Cracks in the base of the structure. Reach the armor to the hole. <laughs> not a good idea. Uh, hey, but research part, so maybe it was a good idea. And that's everything here. That means I can research the heat-resistant line for volcanic fish. And oh, wow, this next reel covers all of them. So we'll put the last part into here. And now let's see what else we can get around here. That is a wow. Look at the size of that one. Can I fish it? Please tell me I can fish it. No, I can't. It's a hadal. I don't even know what that word means. Oh, look, here's the fort that place mentioned. And there's more of these weird rocks over here. Hello, weird rocks. Place a hand on the stone. Does not respond. Okay, I guess I need something else for that. So I want to see what's at this fort over here. And grab this bottle. And I finished reading that guy's book, which gives me sell prices and reduced buy prices. So it was both. Hello, fort. Please don't shoot me. This isn't that video. And there's a researcher here. Hello. Wasn't expecting visitors. I'm a fisherman. Collecting samples. Research outpost was attacked. Yeah, I noticed. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Yeah, I think I know it. And she wants special fish. Firefly squid, aurora, and glowing octopus. Ooh. I think I can help her out real quick. And that means doing a lot more nighttime fishing over here. I just have to be careful about the open abyss that's right in the middle there. And let's see. This is... I bet this is one of the jellyfish that she wanted. Oh no, it's the octopus. And there's also an aberration here, so that should be really cool. Let's just see what... A glowing octopus. Yeah. A very simple shape. We'll put you right there. Give me the aberration. I bet it's weird. Weird. A Medusa octopus. Ugh, it's got teeth at the end of the tentacles. But that's also what I wanted. Just gonna be venturing into the deep at a drop off. That's always fun. But here's the octopus I need. Just gotta, there it is. And then, uh, one more. I kind of forget what else it was. But I can zip on over to the fort and drop off these ones. Hello, researcher. I have things for you. Here's your glowing octopus. And here's your squid. And you needed an Aurora jellyfish. Are you at night? I feel like you're a nighttime thing. But I'm also about to go insane, and there's not a lot of nighttime left. Okay, here's the jellyfish. Yep, it's at night. I think I'll find it when I'm less insane. And then we can put the wood towards this upgrade here, and then put the last research towards this anti-tangle line here. Very cool. Now, question. Do I have enough for that volcanic rod? Oh, I do. Nice. So it takes volcanic and shallow. So what I can do is sell this big fishing pole, rearrange you. Oh, I gotta do all the installation time for this. Man, it's fine though. I'm gonna be fishing at nighttime anyway. And now we can buy the volcanic line. Three hour installation. Yikes, that's most of the night already. But now I can fish in volcanic water. That's going to be a huge help. And now I need to find where that one jellyfish is going to be. It said coastal. Okay, co- Uh, dead. Uh, I'm right next to the wall there. Do I pull out the light? Uh, I'm not sure I need to. Maybe just once? Ha! Oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't like that flash of red. 
<laughs> nope. Okay, 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 okay. Where's the coastal spots gonna be at night? Right over in here? Okay, this is a coastal spot, but it's still pretty far out. Let's just find where the coastal spots are around these islands. And then we immediately get into shallows. Oh no, this is coastal right here. Okay, I'm finding a few, which is good. Oh, it's a hammerhead. Oh, give me you. Give me a trophy one of you. Hiya, yes. A hammerhead shark. And of course, this has the absolute weirdest shape. A nine foot shark. Cool. And now this no longer makes sense. This is a shallow fish. So what's it doing when I can't see the bottom? Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that dog. Hey, look at you. Skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Oh, wants a fish. <laughs> oh man, I wish I had a fish for the dog. Okay, that's definitely what to do. So I'm gonna leave. Don't worry, buddy. I'll come back. Give me a snapper over here or a grouper. I can fit a grouper in there. Hopefully he likes a grouper. And it's almost nighttime too. Don't worry, buddy. I'm coming. It'd be amazing if I got a dog on my boat. Hey, buddy. Throw some fish. I just threw some scraps. How so that the splash and swallow sweet seawater. Uh-oh. Uh, whoops. Okay, you know what? I'll just, uh, slowly approach, maybe, or call for the dog? I'll call for the dog. You don't want to get too close yet. Oh, wags his tail. Oh, he wants it. Uh, slowly approach. Wade towards the shore. Get near the dog. Backs up a little. It sits. Okay, throw some more fish. Palm your hand. Dog's approaches, but soon begins licking at them. Oh, yeah, pet the dog. I can pet the dog. Seems to understand you're not a threat. Yes, pet him again. Seems to be enjoying it. Pet him again. This is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the video. Back towards the boat as you're waiting out here sloshing with frogs. Oh, yeah. The dog is following me. Oh, I love this. Let it follow. Absolutely. When you get to the boat, you turn around to pull the dog on board. Yes. And he fits inside the boat very nicely. Oh, I love it. I have a dog now. I have never been more happy for anything else in a game. I have a dog on my boat. Maybe you can find the dog a more permanent home. Well, yes. But until then, and I also need to sell this hammerhead so I can get a jelly in my boat. We're gonna go jelly fishing. So how much does a trophy hammerhead sell for? 260. And I have a dog. I have a dog. I love it. I could put the dog in storage, but no. He gets a fun place in the boat. And now it's time to go to those coastal spots I found before and hopefully get a jelly. Maybe I can ask her about that fish. Oh, I can give... Hold on. I can choose who I give the dog to? Oh, do I... Do I give it to you? I mean, you seem trustworthy. Uh, I'll wait on that. The dog is mine for now. Hey, about those specimens you're after, can I ask about them? Okay, so this says that they need to be trawled in order to catch, which I'm pretty sure my boat is not set up for yet. So I'm gonna need one of these nets in order to do it. Thankfully, I can buy that, and it looks like I just... Oh, I need to put that there. So let's see, we'll uninstall you and then move you to storage. And then I'll buy the trawl net, install that right there. And then we can trawl with it. Passively catches fish over time. Okay, but sadly nighttime is almost over. Thankfully we can just sleep throughout the day and then find a coastal spot before nighttime hits. Hey, what are you doing? No, you're shallow. Not like personality, it's just, you're not what I want. Okay, I see these squids. So I know here's a coastal spot. Getting really close to the edge here, I don't like this. So how do I start trolling? Well, I'm always trolling, but I mean, trolling. Here we go. And then I just wait, I guess. But I have to be fishing too. So do I just move through the area? I'll just do this a little bit more, unless I have to pull it back. I'm just gonna circle back and forth a few times until my guy goes absolutely insane. Okay, nothing new has happened, so I'll pull it back. Maybe I'll just gotta go through some of these spots. But also my guy's entirely insane. Maybe he needs a light. Okay, that definitely makes things better. Ooh, I got it. All I needed was a light. Very cool. And we made it okay. And now we can give you the jelly you needed. Hi, about those specimens you're after. Caught all the surface specimens I needed? Yes. Wait, need some from deeper down? That's gonna be a problem. Uh, yes. I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. Is that the prototype I found? Have an idea of how to put together but need the prototype parts. Okay, maybe I will ask you about the dog. I mean, she might say no. Oh, I think she's excited. Dog bounds over to the researcher, crouches down, grinning. You definitely take this off your hands. I love the company. Oh, so I can pick. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep the dog. Yay. Suddenly the dog stands upright and begins to retch its stomach heaving. Seconds later, vomits a wet glob. Something glistens. That's interesting. Interesting. Oh, it had a ring. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we can't give the researcher the dog anymore, but at least we got a ring out of it. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching and sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.